back on SABC3 with a nation watching. This year's Miss South Africa was a search for a young woman with a purity of purpose and a clear message for her country. Welcome to the home of Miss South Africa 2023. So what we've realized is that Miss South Africa really is a holistic, well-rounded South African woman. And we needed a system and a process and a platform that represents everything that we are. And that is why it was so exciting for us to introduce Crown Chasers. I mean, we had the opportunity to create real life challenges that uh, Miss South Africa goes through every single day while she's wearing that crown. So how better to test the ladies to see if they're ready to wear that crown by doing those challenges. So by the time that they're walking on the stage, South Africa has already fallen in love with them and they already have their favorites. We're all told that if you don't succeed at first, try, try again. Representing that spirit is this top seven finalist from Kempton Park. Hi everyone, my name is Bryony Gavinder and I am an attorney. I entered Miss South Africa in 2018 and I made it to the top 12. I was 22 at the time and I took a five-year sabbatical <laughs> from all things modeling, all things pageantry and I'm back at the age of 27 because I still believe in myself. This dream of mine is still alive and I have an advocacy that I want to portray out there and I think my voice can make a difference. So I advocate for women empowerment. I'm strongly behind women using their voice. Each and every woman has a voice. All women deserve a seat at the table. Hello everybody, my name is Melissa Naimuli. I am 27 years old. I'm from Johannesburg, but originally from the Eastern Cape, and I currently work as a television and film creative producer. So I've actually entered for Miss South Africa four times already. I started this journey seven years ago when I was 20 years old. Um, and most recently I did Miss South Africa in 2020 where I finished in the top five. And people keep asking me, why do you keep coming back to Miss South Africa? And for me, I honestly love this platform. It's an empowerment platform for women and honestly the best place for me to share my advocacy, which is for a united Africa. Hi everyone, my name is Natasha Bad and I'm 26 years old from city of Tuane Gauteng and I'm a fashion designer. I have my own company called Natalia Jeffries and then I do social media on the side. So my journey started back in 2020. I went to Miss Universe back in 2021 as well. And I think the why was the bigger thing. It was the afterwards where there was so much mental growth. And I think I just saw that so much that I go through, I know South Africans also go through. I struggled with depression back in 2021 after Miss Universe. So I know there's so many struggles and being back, having influence, having that platform, I know I can just make such a big change if I join forces with Miss South Africa. So I'm giving it a second shot. Really excited. We are literally nearly there. Previously, this successful model and businesswoman couldn't have competed again. Hi, my name is Jordan van der Feyfer Lange. I am from Durbanville in the Western Cape and I'm 27 years old. So this year was actually a beautiful opportunity for me to enter Miss South Africa because last year they opened the entries to married women. I am the first married finalist and I'm very proud to say that. So this year basically they incorporated more inclusive rules and I felt that it aligned more with my purpose and my advocacy than ever before. Hello, my name is Nande Mabala and I am a model. So I live to be a representation because I know that representation matters. And so I'll speak true to the things that really affect us as women. Right now in South Africa, one in four women between the ages of 10 and 19 are falling pregnant and they need a lot of direction and just a different way of life, of thinking. So just introducing as well, talking about sex and understanding what it is that you don't have to sell your body for opportunities and just making sure there's better opportunities for young women. Hi there, my name is Omba Mazaleni. I'm 23 years old from East London and the Eastern Cape and I'm a biokineticist. I must say my favorite is the dresses designed by Khad. It's been an absolute whirlwind. It feels like a full circle seeing Khad on TV and now I'm wearing one of his gowns. Hello Insider SA, my name is Anka Rothman. I'm 23 years old and I am a very proud pharmacist intern. So I entered for Miss South Africa this year because I really knew what I wanted to do with the platform which is really creating not only awareness but creating change in the healthcare that we are providing in our country, yes, and I want to make a positive contribution to that. To redefine what's important in life, you should first figure out what's important for you and uh, I think that so many people nowadays get caught up in social media and the outer beauty and anything that's exterior and I think if it can be seen with the eye, it shouldn't be too important. Don't attach any worth or importance to things that can be seen where they are. 
Unless, of course, these things happen to be the finalists' evening gowns, designed by Gert Johan Kutsier. I am super excited. I think for the last 2,000 hours, it took me and my whole team to create these beautiful dresses. And I think the meaning behind it is for me the most important thing because fashion without meaning doesn't mean anything. And I really was inspired by how each crystal is so unique in its own, like me and you and all the viewers out there. But when we string it together and we stand together, we can create a beautiful garment and also a beautiful society. So that was the inspiration behind tonight's dresses. My message of hope to women this month is that I can see a lot of change. I can see a lot of good change in this country. And I think that we have a lot to look forward to as women, as a country, and certainly for our children. The Miss South Africa platform is still very relevant because it gives, you know, it's aspirational. And all those little girls that are out there, it's important for them to realize that they can be someone. They have someone to look up to. But above that, for us, what's important is that creating women of substance. You're going to see women today talk about business. So it's not only about beauty, and that's what's exciting for us. It's ABC3, 23 years later, here we are, back on the national broadcaster. I couldn't be more honored. I'm so excited for the country to get behind these young women and make them have a real sustainable difference in the lives of so many. We can't wait to crown our new Miss South Africa because that's what this is about, right? The top seven is absolutely incredible. They're all such strong, bold women, which is why it's so difficult to pick a favorite this year. I've been trying all day and it's, I can't. Listen, my beautiful dress this evening, I'm wearing John William Aria. This is the same gown that I wore um, to Miss Universe. So we decided we're going to bring it to South Africans alive because I know it was 4 a.m. when I was at Miss Universe. So today they get to watch it in real time. I'm very excited and this is especially because, you know, I've had such a beautiful reign. I was able to achieve everything that I wanted to achieve. And I'm very excited for the new queen to experience everything that I have. The one quality I'm looking for in the new Miss South Africa is a woman who is undeniably herself. Somebody that is not scared to show every side of her so we can connect with her. That's such a beautiful thing. I think we're all looking for somebody who is authentic, who is relatable to the entire country. And I mean, Debbie, you know, it's been quite a journey finding that right person. It's been an absolute journey because the person that we're looking for needs to be authentic and more importantly, needs to drive a social cause that's meaningful. I'm so excited for tonight because I think for the first time ever, I mean, we have new rules, it's a new age, it's mothers. The rules have changed for Miss SA. It is inclusive, there's so much hype. I love our judging panel. I think we are women of all walks of life and I'm excited to see the show and you should be too because it is going to be spectacular. Now it was time for the business end of the evening. Anka, Bryony, Jordan, Melissa, Nandi, Homba, and Natasha all stunned in animal print, but only five would survive. In no particular order, our top five tonight. Homba! Nandi! Natasha! Brioni! Melissa! Though radiant in their evening wear, Nande, Homba and Melissa were still cut from the field, leaving only Bryony and Natasha. All right, there you go, ladies and gentlemen, your top two. Take your walk, ladies. Congratulations to Natasha and congratulations to Brioni. Soon to be an attorney, Bryony's law firm were hanging on to their seats while Natasha's mum was about to pass out from holding her breath. Miss South Africa 2023 is... Natasha! For a young woman who's risen above hard economic times and great personal loss, this was a crowning moment. Hi everyone, my name is Natasha Bad and I am Miss South Africa 2023. So when I won, I remember standing on stage and at the corner of my eye, I could see my mom and she was bawling her eyes out. But I was also shaking, so we were both just like crying. And it's so funny because just before I went up, 
the lady from the nails came to me. She's like, remember, when you have your crowning moments and your winning reaction, like nails. I was like, Debbie, I'll do you one even better. I was here the entire time. It was so funny. So my first mission as Miss South Africa would be definitely education. Simply because reflecting back when I was 19, I wanted to study a marketing degree and I was financially excluded. We didn't have the means to study. So I really had to make plan to find bursaries in order to study. And I know this is a big and huge factor in South Africa of many South Africans that can't have that education. So I went in it already, like I'm not waiting to start this reign. I already went into it. We secured 25 IT coding bursaries for women only and then also I went back to my varsity where I studied and they also pledged eight bursaries. Natasha's mom Nanette graduated with a law degree at the age of 50 and Natasha's inherited her mom's drive. I started my business when I was only 19 years old so sitting here I'm 26 which is so surreal because now I'm taking on the job as Miss South Africa. I really had to have courage, I had to have that resilience of coming back and saying, you know what, I did not place the first time around or I did not win the first time around, but it doesn't mean that you won't be the one one day. So it was just destiny delayed and not destiny denied. As Miss South Africa and as an entrepreneur,